Hi kids! Today we're going to learn about the Summer Olympics. But first, we need to get Robo powered up. Everybody stand up and move your feet. Are you ready? Robo, Robo, one, two, three, come and exercise with me. Hi Robo, what's our first Olympic event? How about the backstroke? All right, we're going to do the backstroke, okay? Circle your arms backwards, one at a time. Pretend you're swimming in the water. You're a strong swimmer. Another Olympic sport is gymnastics. Gymnasts are very flexible. So sit down with your legs out and reach over to one side. Now stretch to the other side. Did you see that bicycle race bike? Lay down on your back and pretend to pedal with your feet. Can you go faster? Surf's up, dude! Check out those waves. Lay down on your surfboard and swim with your arms. Let's go catch a big wave! Here comes the wave. Jump up in three, two, one. You caught it. Way to go. Did you know soccer is also an Olympic sport? Pretend you have a soccer ball and place it on the ground. Now hop and touch the ball with your toes. Now kick the ball. You've got a bronze medal. Can you guess the next sport? It's basketball. Yep. Grab your basketball and do a jump shot. Shoot the ball into the hoop. You've got this. Just a few more. Parents, please hit the subscribe button if your kids enjoy Robotots. Foul. Foul on Robomom. What? There's no one here to foul. Well, th that's a double dribble with a three second violation for reaching in. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Do you even know how to play basketball? Not really. You see, I'm an Olympic track and field runner. You see my gold medal? <laughs> Track and field. Hey, can you show the kids our next exercise move? Well, absolutely. Thank you. Running was the first and only event in ancient Greece. Now there are lots of different running races. Can you run with me? You did it! It's half time! Announcing our newest Robotots team members Faith, Noah, Priya, Annika, Ethan, and Isaac. Hey kids, ask your parents to take a video of you doing Robotots for a chance to be in our next video. We can't wait to see it!
Another track and field event is the long jump. Let's see how far you can jump. Ready, go. Now try to go further this time. You're doing great. Do some karate. Balance on one foot and kick your leg to the side. Whoa, Can you do that? Now kick with the other foot. This is a fun one. Grab your imaginary ribbon and wave it around while you dance and twirl. This is like rhythmic gymnastics. The rowing event is about to start. Sit down in this boat and help row. Keep your legs out and pull your arms back and forth like this. Pull harder. We're almost there. Woohoo! We did it! You got a silver medal! Time to get back in the water and try a different swimming event. This is called the butterfly. This is one of the toughest strokes. Be sure to stay until the end to go on an adventure with us. Two more moves and then we're done. Squat down and lift up this heavy barbell. This is weightlifting. Okay, last one. It's really heavy. You did it! It's volleyball time. Get ready and jump as high as you can to block the volleyball. Keep jumping. Nice block. Let's sit down and make Olympic rings with our arms. Bring your arms up and make a circle. One. Two, three, four, five. You did it! You earned a gold medal! Take a picture and tag Robotots on Instagram. Congratulations, kids. You earned three medals. All these sports were super fun. Let's go learn some more about the Olympics. Club, and we're about to meet an Olympic swimmer who's also a coach here. Let's go!
accomplishment to qualify for the Olympics. And this athlete went to the Olympics and won a gold medal. This is gold medalist Jeff Flo. Hi, Jeff. Hello. So, you must get this all the time, but your last name is perfect for the sport. Yeah, you know, I grew up, I, my, my last name isn't Ball or Diamond or, you know, so the name like Flo Swimmer, it, it would seem like a perfect fit. <laughs> Perfect for swimming. Uh -huh. So when did you start swimming? Uh, I started here at Arden Hill when I was uh, approximately seven years old in 1967. Wow, so you started here. Uh -huh. How does it feel to come back and be coaching here? Well, a lot's changed since then, obviously. Uh, it's changed a lot, and not just physically, but also uh, with the sport of swimming itself. Yeah. So I saw your relay at the Olympics, and it was such an exciting race. Yeah. Like, I already knew the outcome, but I had to watch it again. It was just incredible. So how was that experience for you and on the podium and all that? Well, speaking of that video, it's like every time I watch it, I wonder when we're going to finish second, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it, I like to tell people that, you know, my career spanned 17 years, and from the moment you walk out, you know, to go into the theater, to, to, to doing a race and then, you know, after your race and going to the award stand, it's about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's 17 years wrapped into about 15 minutes. So you have two gold medals on. Well, the second one was from uh, 1980 um, when I made the team. And uh, this was a congressional gold medal uh, mm -hmm. that we received from uh, U.S. Congress and the president. And then this is your, the other gold this medal. This is the actual uh, gold medal from uh, 1984. And so you can kind of look at it from the side and you can, you know, see the changes as you turn it. And it's, you know, it's got a lot of depth to it. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. And so I hear you, you like to give back to the community. Can you talk about Swim Across America? Well, Swim Across America was started back on the East Coast uh, by the gentleman by the name of Jeff Keith, who actually ran across America, and he lost his leg to cancer. And he was good friend with uh, some swimmers, and they started an event called Swim Across America, and they raised money for cancer research, uh, pediatric oncology in the, local, in the local area that they're doing their swim. So they raised a tremendous amount of money for a great cause. So talk about distance. Have you ever calculated how far you've swum? Well, yes, I did out of curiosity. Um, I, I've swum about 35,000 miles in my, in my lifetime. That sounds so far. Robo, can you show us how far that is on the map? 35,000 miles equals one and a half times around the Earth. You're coaching here. Um, mm -hmm. What do you want your legacy to be and what do you want the students to learn from you? I think it's instilling a belief in kids these days uh, that they can achieve more than they ever thought they could. And that more, uh, more than anything, you know, it, it, it's nice to win the gold medal, but I think it's more the, the, the lessons you learn along the way and what you're able to learn from those lessons and pass on to the next generation. And I just talked to your lovely wife and she said mm -hmm. that you're more than a gold medalist and that you have a golden heart. Yeah. And that is just the truth. And thank you so much oh, for this welcome. interview. And hey, can you show us some of your coaching drills? Well, yeah, we've got kids that are in the water right now and then um, we can certainly do that. Okay, let's do it. Thank you. All right. All right, you ready to go? Show me some fast kicking now, ready? And go! Kick, 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 kick. Come on, there you go, there you go. There we go. Heart and soul. Reach your goal. One more heart and soul. Reach your goal. Okay, one lap of backstroke kicking and torpedo. Are you ready? Another day in paradise. Push up. Go. It's called the butterfly. Hannah, Hannah, eyes up on the slide of back. And what stroke is this? Correct. The back stroke. Ready and go. Go, go, go! Go! Let's go, Van! Kick, kick, kick! Ready and kick, 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 kick! Kick, 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 kick!
Thank you so much to Jeff and Jan Flo and everybody here at Arden Hills. We had so much fun learning about swimming and the Olympics. We'll see you on our next adventure. Join us for another fitness adventure by clicking the Robotots playlist. Whoa. And be sure to tell your friends. Oh, yeah.